Hi, this is Luke with United World Telecom. As part of our video series on VoIP call quality, today we'll discuss network jitter and how much is acceptable. So let's get started. Before we jump into why jitter occurs, let's quickly recap how VoIP works. Well, VoIP converts voice into digital packets and transmits them from one endpoint to another. Once the packets reach the destination, they reassemble into voice, letting callers converse, all within a few milliseconds. But as these packets travel, some of them may arrive earlier than the others. Jitter is when certain data packets are dropped during this transmission or sent out of order. This directly affects voice quality and communication, and it leads to jumbled, muffled, or missing audio. If this occurs for more than 30 milliseconds, then the overall call quality is impacted. Jitter can be caused by a few different reasons, and these include outdated network hardware or older equipment, insufficient bandwidth or network congestion, poor wireless network connection, and no packet prioritization. A small amount of jitter isn't noticeable, so how much jitter is acceptable enough to have a proper phone conversation? Acceptable standards include jitter levels below 30 milliseconds, less than 1% packet loss, and less than 150 milliseconds of network latency in each direction. The amounts of acceptable jitter also depend on the application. For instance, high levels of jitter greatly affect call and audio quality, but they don't have the same effect on email. This means that significant jitter is a big time problem for real-time communication, such as VoIP calling or video conferencing. You can reduce jitter in a few different ways. Jitter usually occurs when your internet does not have enough bandwidth for VoIP. So, you will need to upgrade your internet connection through your ISP. You can also use jitter buffering, where a buffer receives packets first and then feeds them out to the applications at a regular rate. It also helps to upgrade your ethernet cable and older damaged cables to remove any barriers. Another solution is to reduce unnecessary bandwidth use during work hours. This means turning off other applications like video streaming that take up a lot of network space and are not needed for business operations. And lastly, schedule device updates outside of office hours. This way, you can reduce downtime during work hours and increase efficiency. Have more questions about VoIP call quality issues? We'll include our top resources in the description below. You can also visit unitedworldtelecom.com and speak with one of our experts. We're here to help.